And the video begins. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you a quick oyster mushroom recipe that we just made up, basically. And Enrique is going to give you all the details of how the video works, though he doesn't actually know what go or in the, the recipe, rather. Good. Enrique, go. Shoot. <laughs> That's are, why we prepare. So, anyway. What are we making today? Today, what we're making are uh, some sort of... <clears throat> pancakes or uh, tostadas where we're going to fry these and basically stack these ingredients into and making sort of like a Mexican new age mushroom lasagna. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to, one of the main things, we're, gonna, uh, we're not going to focus on this too much, we're going to chop everything up. In fact, we're going to liquefy everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Enrique. Yeah, <laughs> what if this plan fails? <laughs> then what do Basically we do? Basically just going to liquefy everything in here. And pour, pour it, it, over, it over it. Pour it over, over the, the tortilla? Thing, tortilla and just fry it. All right. Sounds good. So we'll be using exactly this much oil. Uh, we have more. I have a little bit more if we need it. Excellent. Can but we put that in the blender? Yeah. Like, well, I think I it's good for it to get it's into Tony's the core blender. of the structure. And it might get into the like the, the, the rubber pieces, so we don't want to do that. We okay, here. Tony off. Take the Here's camera, and I'll show what's really going to happen. Stop. All right, so we're not stopping the video yet. I just want to show you really quickly. We're essentially just going to make a scrambled egg-type mixture to put in tortillas. But we're using these oyster mushrooms that I just picked up from King Super. Why are we using the oyster mushrooms? Because these things grow really well on used coffee, which is also the plan. So the long-term goal is to grow our own mushrooms and keep doing this, but we're going to start eating them first because we want to make sure it's worth it. If it is worth it, I've already gotten the mushroom growing started. I've inoculated all this cardboard um, with oyster mushroom that I got from the store. Cardboard is useful because other things that are um, contaminants don't like to grow on it, just the oysters. And then we're going to throw in this used coffee, which I've been collecting at the office. Of course, we'll sanitize it in the microwave first. And that's it. So now we're going to cook, and uh, then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Or maybe not, but that's what we're going to make. 